about to enter a new dimension of not only factual stories, but of entertainment. This is The Spotlight Zone. Welcome back to Spartan Spotlight, guys. Sorry we were gone last week, but we're back now, and that's all that matters. I'm Nathan McLeaner. And I'm Bree Chaco. Let's get to those stories. Sweet, I love robots. Nick went to go find out more about the Robotics Club. Nice. I want to go see how the senior robotics team is doing this year. My name's Renee, and I'm a senior. Well, Hi, we have six weeks to build a robot that plays frisbee and climbs stuff. I have a pretty good feeling that we're going to go to the nationals. Did you know this is the robotics team's sixth year in their first robotics competition? Also, some of the sponsorships are by St. Jude's Medical. We went to go talk to some of the robotics team members to see what it's like. We have a pretty good team this year, I'm not going to lie. A lot of people there wear glasses, and their IQs are pretty high. So, I mean, we have a pretty good chance. My part of robotics is reading the rule kit and looking at the internet. Be sure to cheer on this year's Sydney Robotics team at Williams Arena of UFM. This is Danielle has previously been involved in pageants before trying out for Miss Minnesota USA. My first pageant was my senior year here, so I was 17. And that was it, um, the same system, but I was in the teen division then. So I did that, that was my first one, and I got third runner-up. So I did it last year, and I got, I made the top 12, but I didn't make the top 5. And so then I tried again this year, and I won. After years of being involved in pageants, Danielle discussed her favorite part of them and how they have changed her. My favorite thing is that it really, it helps you learn about yourself and it helped pull me out of my shell and teach me how to set goals and things like that. So I've just really learned a lot of, about myself through pageantry. To many, the Miss Minnesota USA competition seems very intimidating. With support from friends and family, Danielle gained the motivation to compete and do well in the competition. My motivation has definitely been my parents and my whole extended family. They've been really supportive financially, emotionally, everything. So I just really like to go out there and make them proud. They get really excited and it's fun. For many people who know Danielle, this is an exciting experience. I've known Danielle since she was a really little girl and I'm extremely excited for her. She absolutely deserves this and I think she's just a great person. Because it is such a prestigious competition, it takes a lot of preparation. Okay, for Miss Minnesota, I was crowned on November 25th and I probably started getting ready early summer um, and just practicing walking, picking out wardrobe, lots of mock interviewing. As well, Danielle told us about the exciting moment when she won Miss Minnesota USA 2013. Um, it was crazy. I mean, what I say is this was something that I always knew I could do and something I always dreamed of, but I didn't think it would actually happen, at least not this soon. <laughs> Well, I hope you all enjoyed learning more about Danielle. Make sure to support her during the Miss USA competition in early June. This has been Emily Earhart reporting for Spartan Spotlight. Thanks, Emily. Congratulations to Danielle Hooper. It's been pretty cold out, eh? Makes me wonder about the girls' hockey team. <laughs> girls' hockey has been fighting hard this season. We went to go find out how they're defending the crease. The girls' record so far this season is 6-9-3. and three. The team lost seven seniors from last year and have been struggling to adapt to the drastic change. We lost a lot of seniors last year, but this year we have a lot of new girls coming up. We have 
a good portion of the eighth grade playing for us. And they've really had to step up and really raise their level of play in order to be performing at the varsity level. Lakin Mueller has 25 goals. Nikki Nelson and Lexi Mueller have 16. Captains Kristen and Ann have also been making big contributions by leading and supporting the team. We have a little one named Nikki Sabaski who's really good with her hands. I'm pretty sure she has four points so far. Nikki Nelson, who's a junior, and Lakin Mueller, um, who's a sophomore, that, and Lexi Mueller is on defense. Um, they probably have our most points. The team also hosted a floor hockey game with members of the Special Olympics and had a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, we played floor hockey against Special Olympics team, so that was a fun experience because we got to just kind of work with them and laugh and help them work on their passing and shooting and just have a good time. The season started in late October and goes into February. Kristen and Ann have been playing hockey all their lives, but they started playing varsity for Simley since they are in 8th grade. So make sure you get out to the vets and cheer on our lady Spartans. This has been Kayla LaVoy reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Thanks, Pa and Kayla. And Captain Ann Hansen. You know what's really disgusting? What? PDA. What? Maybe Hoons and Carl went to go see why. Hello. 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 Ever since my freshman year, I've noticed there's a lot of PDA in Simley. I wonder if teachers have noticed a change. We went to go ask. PDA, has it changed? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I don't think PDA has changed much over the years. It might come and go. Like last year, oh lord, lots of people in PDA. Kissing Corner by Miss Mer's Room, gross. Whenever I hear about it, we try and deal with it right away because it makes other students and teachers feel very, very uncomfortable. We want to go get some student thoughts on this. Oh, oh. See you next hour, guys. See you. <laughs> I think it's a great way to show your love and affection for your significant other. You could say I support PDA 100%. It's kind of gross. I guess PDA has changed a little bit. Middle school used to get think about it slips, and uh, now you can just kiss and stuff. I'm Carla McKenzie, and I'm Emily Hoon, reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Thanks, guys. Over to Google Plus to watch our bloopers. Don't forget to turn your senior pictures into the Simley Yearbook Committee.